Welcome back to Kelly Drives. You know, I found a great spot in the city for dinner. But when I walked in, I had this feeling of deja vu. You're going to have it as well. Come on, let's check it out. K-Pod. Pulling up to the uh, In It Pen here, the University of Penn. Going to valet the car and go check out the brand new spot, K-Pod. When you walk in, does it look familiar? That's because it was Steven Starr's hottest restaurant pod for how many years? For, it opened in 2000 and was open for 20 years until the pandemic. I remember coming so many times, and I love how you kept some of the pods. It looks really, really cool. Great, yeah. Well, you really want to have a seat at the bar, Bob. And... Oh, you don't have to ask me twice to go to the bar. Tell me about the drink special. Yeah. yeah. So we're really trying to do here a pod, uh, just like the food, just something that people are going to want three or four of. So we're going to make uh, what we call a sham pop. Okay. It's going to be uh, our most popular cocktail. Uh, it's going to come with a house citrus soju. I'm just putting a little bit of boba in here. And then we're just going to top this with a little bit of cava, which is a Spanish sparkling wine. So pod was popular there for, what, 20-some years. Pandemic years. hits. Yep. Boom. And then Stephen kind of reinvented the whole thing. Reinvented the whole thing. Uh, you know, Peter Serpico as well. We took him from Serpico down on South Street. Uh, came here and did a really fun, really approachable menu for the food. Uh, Korean American, but comfort food. How about an appetizer? Let's start with an appetizer. That. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, you know, people really did love pod, and of course, we were known for our sushi. Mm -hmm. uh, so we did a little bit of a play on sushi here. So this is going to be our spicy tuna hand roll. It's going to be uh, the nori, of course, the seaweed on the outside. Okay. A little bit of crunch. We add a little bit of lettuce in there. Rice, of course, sushi rice, topped with some spicy tuna, diced spicy tuna, and uh, rice pearls. Reminds me of like a taco. I'm just like, the, like something different. Yeah. You know, yeah. Taking the basics, making yeah. it different, and making it fun. Ready to try something different? Let's go to shop. What do you Yeah, have? let's go. So here we're going to build what we call a kimchini. Of course, Korean food is really known for their uh, fermented cabbage. So this is a play on that drink. We're going to start off with beef eater gin. We're also going to add a blue coat barrel aged gin. And this is really just going to add a lot of depth to the cocktail. We have over here uh, a kimchi soju, so we use kimchi starter. Uh, and last but not least, we're going to do a little bit of cabbage brine. And this is just going to be the liquid from uh, cabbage that we've soaked in salt water. And this is going to be garnished with a little bit of a scallion. Never had anything nope. like this before. See, I'm not a sipper. That's, that's where I oh. get into trouble. <laughs> so this is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you definitely want to sip this. Yeah, absolutely. Especially with all the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, you got, uh, you know, three and a half ounces of liquor in there. Sip, Bob. Sip. Sip. Well, this is delicious. So, Aaron, tell me about yourself. Uh, so, I'm originally from New York City. I moved down to Philadelphia about 10 years ago okay. uh, to come work for Star in the company. Um, since then, I've worked for a couple different locations. Definitely. So, what sets your place apart from the others here? So, our place is kind of a take on contemporary um, Korean food. Those are the kind of flavors that, that we're looking for. We try to stay somewhat traditional and make it approachable to the everyday person. I'm new to Korean food. So, let's start off with what do you have here? This is a very popular uh, kind of flavor profile. It's kind of sweet and savory at the same time. Um, mm. In Korea, this is served as like potato chips as a flavor. So yeah. these are honey butter fries. So it's a little bit of Korean yeah. chili flake, a little bit of parsley, honey. So that's the coating on the top, honey. Yes, sir. I got it. Oh, I love it. Mm. A little sweet, a little spicy, a little salty. Perfect. Now what do we have here? So here we have a Korean army stew. Uh, so Korean army stew is kind of a dish that got adopted in Korea um, after the American Korean War. There's a, um, a little bit of spam in there. Um, some hot dogs. Spam! Koreans were left in kind of a difficult place, so they adopted some of the American things that were left behind by the soldiers or that they bought to them, and they elevated it and turned it into their cuisine. Interesting. This ain't making it to the office. This is my car on the way home. <laughs> I love that he kept some of that pod feeling, like the pod that's right here inside the front door. Come on, Jonathan. Instagram. Instagram, here we go. For the gram!